People with diabetes are particularly vulnerable to more serious outcomes from COVID-19. In Saskatchewan, more than 300,000 people either have the condition or are in the early stages of having it. That's nearly a third of the population. And now new research shows that some people who didn't have diabetes before COVID do now. Dr. Seema Nagpal is an epidemiologist and senior leader with Diabetes Canada. So doctor, for people with diabetes, how have they been impacted by COVID? Uh, people with diabetes have been impacted by COVID in, in many ways. Um, in, in some cases, they haven't been able to access the care that they, that they need, um, either because uh, they haven't been able to go into the emergency room when they feel like they, they could or should. Um, they don't feel as easily um, that their, their health care provider is as easily accessible um, or, or even sometimes when, when they start to feel unwell and have some questions about their care, they don't necessarily feel like they, they have the opportunity to, to get that information from their pharmacist or diabetes educator. So there's, there's so many ways um, that the healthcare system has been disrupted by the pandemic that ultimately impacts everybody and, and people living with a chronic condition like diabetes are, are impacted as well. So we're hearing from COVID patients who say prior to being sick, they didn't have diabetes, but they do now. Why is that? Well, there's a couple of reasons that could explain that, um, that, that phenomenon, if you will. And one is that, that there's a whole bunch of people who live with type two diabetes who don't know it. They're not diagnosed yet. And when they are sick with a condition like COVID-19, uh, that condition becomes more apparent and it becomes diagnosed when they access the healthcare system because of COVID. So it was underlying before, but it gets diagnosed when, um, when they have COVID. Um, another reason could be that, uh, that some of the medications used to treat COVID increase your blood sugar and, and the stress of an infection itself um, results in changes in, in glucose um, management by the body. And so that may resolve over time as, as uh, you fight off the infection. But there are some people who are, are really examining a mechanism that uh, the body cells that produce insulin have been impacted by the viral infection and that your production of insulin um, is changed. So we don't know exactly um, if it's more one of those reasons than, the, than another, or if, if COVID actually results in changes in, in how, we, um, how we secrete our insulin in our body. We don't know the answer to that definitively yet. Um, so really the, the best thing that we can do is, is try to avoid catching COVID. Um, and that's, that's what we have to some degree within our control. So how might this affect children in particular? Um, well, that's just it. We, we're not sure yet about the impact of COVID um, on children, let alone the impact of COVID um, and, and developing diabetes in children. Uh, we do know that people living with diabetes, children who live with diabetes, don't seem to do any worse than children who develop COVID who don't have diabetes. That's, that's the good news. That's unlike the situation in, in, um, with adults, where we know that adults who have diabetes they experience a much more severe COVID infection than people who don't have diabetes with a COVID infection. So we really wanna see people living with diabetes avoid the infection um, because we, we wanna make sure that their health outcomes stay as, as good as possible. So if you're type two or pre-diabetic, what should you be doing today to protect yourself from the virus? Yeah, I think that these things that we've been hearing over the last two years of the pandemic are especially relevant today as well. Uh, make sure that you get your vaccine. And, and as many doses and boosters as, rec as recommended by public health, that's the, the number one defense. But we can't forget wearing masks in public places, keeping distance. Um, if you start to experience symptoms, stay home and, and try not to infect others. Um, these are things, wash your hands. Um, these are things that uh, we've been hearing. And I know we're tired of hearing these things, but it's especially important now as as this new virus becomes more prevalent in our communities and, and people living with diabetes are, you know, they're our brothers, our sisters, our, our friends, our, our parents, and it's especially important to keep them, keep them safe now that the, the viral infection is more and more common in the community. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. That is Dr. Seema Nagpal with Diabetes Canada.